Hello, so today what we're going to do is we're going to animate a fast food logo and this is going to be a build up into just animation in general. Uh, but this first one is going, we're just going to go a little bit bigger with a fast food logo of some sort. So it needs to have several colors uh, or at least like three sections to it, I would suggest. Uh, so let's have a look. I am going to do file in photo P and I'm going to do new and I'm going to choose YouTube 800 pixels by 800 pixels. I'm going to click create. So here I have my canvas. I'm going to zoom in a little bit and then I'm going to open and place and I've got one from Domino's Pizza that I gathered earlier. Um, I'm going to shrink this down a little bit. Double click it. Um, now I'm going to, this is a smart object, so I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to rasterize. Now when I hit erase or delete, I can erase or delete it or move it and what have you. I think what I'm going to do is have this, uh, let's see, I think what I'm going to do is, uh, is think about the animation and how I'm going to have that uh, move throughout the uh, animation. So first, I'm going to go up to the polygonal lasso tool. And I'm just going to select each element at a time. You zoom in. So that's going to be one element I'm going to, on the logo, I'm now going to press Command C or Control C and I'm going to uh, Command V and that will paste in place the first part that I have copied. I'm going to click back on the logo and now I'm going to select the next portion. Again, I'm going to hit Command, you're going to hit Control C for copy, and I'm going to hit uh, Command, you're going to hit Control V. So here I have two portions of the domino, and here we got the blue. So I'm just going to click on the logo one more time, and I will hit the polygonal lasso tool. And I select the last portion, copy, paste. So here we have all the three different elements. I'm going to, actually, I'm going to delete the uh, logo as it was. I'm going to zoom out. Now I'm going to think about how I'm going to have this animate. So I'm going to draw some guides onto the page. And these guides really are there just to let me know, all right, when I lower these elements on the page, are they where they need to be? I'm going to see if I can go into preferences and change the guides color. Guides, pixel. Square. I'm trying to see where I change the, the colors in this. I think what I'm going to do, because it is so different, I'm probably just going to leave preferences, maybe. No, that's where I just was. I think I'm just going to leave this section 
because um, I think I'm going to be here a while and I'm trying to do a lesson. I just want the um, the uh, the guides to pop a little bit more rather than being this light blue cyan type of colour. All right, so now I'm drawing guides uh, from the bottom to the sides so I know and these guides will not be shown with uh, will not be shown when the animation is created okay so for the for all red parts and for the blue parts I got some guides so I know that if I move them out of the way uh, when they come back in they're going to be correct uh, I gotta look up the naming structure So what I need to do is these three items need to be in a folder. So I'm going to I'm going to select these three layers because these are the layers that um, these are the layers that create the logo. I'm going to click the folder so it's in a folder, and I'm going to rename the folder underscore a underscore frame one comma one hundred, and that's one hundredth of a second. Okay. So that's the first one. I'm now going to uh, hold down the option, drag down. I'm going to name this two, frame two, and I'm going to delete. I'm going to delete the copy off of the end so it's just now I have that now I got to think about how do how do I want this to play out now at this point I don't know whether the animation will go from the top frame down or from the bottom frame up I'm gonna think that it's going to go from the top frame down. So it starts out here. Then in this one, I'm going to edit, transform, rotate, and I'm going to rotate it a little bit each time. Now I'm going to drag this one down by holding the Alt or the Option. This is going to be named 3. And all I'm going to do is hold down the uh, Control or Command, hit the right key so I go all the way to the end, and then just delete the 100. Don't leave any space on the end. All right, let's check. Now this one, I'm going to transform, rotate, shift alt control T. I wonder if it'll do that. Shift alt control T. Okay, so what I did that time is I shift 
Alt. Shift, Alt, Control, T, and it actually rotated it again the same amount. So let's option drag down. I'm going to make this one frame four. I'm going to hit hold command or control, the right key, and then delete. Hit return. I'm on this layer. I'm going to hit um, shift, control, option T or alt. Did it do it? I didn't do it. Yeah, so now I'm going to go up here. It's not doing it. So I need to transform, rotate. And all I'm doing is rotating it roughly an equal amount as the previous times. <coughs> Double click. Drag down and then rename five. So it did it on that one. So when I chose that same command again to uh, to perform that same action, it did it. So I'm going to see if it will do it again. Name it again. So maybe it will only do it up through the command. So I got frame six. Let's do edit, transform again. It did it. All right, so go through the key commands. So now, as we can see, it's almost flat. I'm leaving them all on for now. I think the seventh one will have it so that the logo is flat. We're on the seventh frame. We'll do edit, transform again. And it did it beautifully. All right, so I'm going back to this one, but what I want is I want to make sure that this is absolutely level. So I drew one on the base, and I'm just going to do transform, rotate. And I'm just going to get this as near as we can. That's pretty good. Now, let's have a look at what this section um might create if we created this into a animated gif once you get to this point if you go file export gif you can then see what you can then see what you've created if you unclick uncheck reverse frames you can see and then also you've got the boomerang um, look, we want something that comes into place and then stops. So I'm going to have once, so it plays once only. And then that would be it. So I'm going to uncheck boomerang and I'm going to reverse frames. Do I want that? All right, so that would be the way that it plays. It would end at that position. So I'm going to cancel out because that's not what I want it to do yet. Let's do something different. Let's have the dominoes zoom in. So right now I'm just going to hide the rest of these frames. And I'm going to hold down the Alt or the Option. You might need to hold down the Control. I'm not sure in Photo P. Give it a dance. See what you need to do. So this is frame 8. I'm going to rename it. Actually, 
if you press the downward arrow without pressing anything, it would jump all the way to the end and then remove the word copy and the extra space. Hit return. I'm going to click on the blue layer only in this one. And I'm going to, uh, I think I did it wrong. What shall I do? I think I'm going to, I'm going to do two things. I'm going to shrink it and I'm going to reduce the opacity. So I'm going to transform scale. I'm going to So let's reduce it 10% at a time. So we're going to do 90%, 90%. So I did did 90% height and width. Did that do it? No. Right, let me just make sure. Oh, it did do it. I was just hiding stuff. So make sure that you hide all the other layers when you do this, because otherwise you're not going to know that you did it right. So I'm on the blue layer. Let's do that again. I'm going to edit, transform. I'm going to scale. I just want to do this because it will show you a few ways in which you can edit your items. So I'm going to hit um, oh, I like this little Alright, so I've got 90% there I'm going to hit tab 90% there so it's 10% smaller, smaller and I'm going to hit 90% as well on the opacity, so it's fading. So I'm going to close it. I'm going to drag it down. I'm going to hide this one. And I'm going to rename this one. All right, so it's about being clever. I'm going to delete the words copy. And again, what did we do? Well, one of the things we did is we reduced the opacity. It was at 90 last time, so now I'm going to put 80. So it's getting even more faint. Uh, but I did it incorrectly. We only reduce the opacity on that, that on that blue layer only. So last time was 90. Now it's going to be uh, 80. And then under Edit, Transform, Scale. Again, I'm going to. It's not going to be 100%. It's going to be 90% of this one. 90% there. So it's shrinking. When we open up a document, the size is smaller. But when we reduce it, we're only reducing it down to 90 each time. Um, hopefully you understand that when you see it. Uh, so let's do it so that maybe you can see and understand. So I reduced it from 100% down to 90%. I double clicked it, it is now 10% smaller. But when I open it up, we'll be making it 10% smaller and it will show that it's 100% size because it is, it, it's the new size. The new size is actually 100%. Um, and we're just simply reducing it 10% uh, down to 90. Um, so rather than confuse you, let's just keep going. So now I'm going to drag. I'm going to hide the one above. Open this one. This one, the opacity, however, will keep dropping. That's going to now be 70. And the... Edit, Transform, Scale. Again, this is the original size. It's going to get smaller and smaller. 
it doesn't know what size the original was. It's just that this is the size it is. We're going to reduce it down 10%. So we're going to go 90, 90, double click. And now that is the new 100%. Hopefully, the more you do it, you'll, you'll kind of understand how and why it's happening. Again, the opacity, that's something that we cannot hide from. It is at, uh, right now, 70%. Now I'm going to click 60. It's getting more and more faint. I'm going to go up under Edit, Transform, Scale. And again, it's the size it is. We're just going to reduce it again to 90%. Hit Enter. It's now 90 now, what we'll have to do is go up and make sure that we change all of these frame names and numbers. Turn off that one. I think I put a frame inside a frame. I did. Be careful if you do that. I got a bit overzealous. Hide that one. All right, so again, we're at 60. We're going to change that to 50. I mean, getting smaller and more trans translucent, more transparent. Edit, transform, scale. This is the new 100%. We're going to reduce it 90. 90, hit enter or return, and then double click. So each time it's getting smaller and smaller. It's getting a bit awkward for me to see because I'm actually, I've enlarged the screen as much as it will go. Um, so I can record it and you can see it a little bit more clearly on your small screens. So I'm gonna go on the blue, I'm gonna reduce this to 40%, running out fast. We're down to 40%. Now I'm going to go Edit, Transform, Scale. Again, this is the, this is the new 100%, so I'm going to reduce it by 10. 10%. Double click. Again, click on it, drag it down. So we now have a copy. Hide the last one. And I'll come back in a minute and we'll change all of these names. Change it to 30%. So we're fading away. We're almost gone. And then we will do transformation, scale, 90, 90, hit return, double click it. And then I think what we'll do is let's reduce this one a little bit more. Let's do transform, scale. Let's do uh, 80, 80. So that one's much smaller. We'll do the next one 80 as well because we've almost ran out. So this is on 30, we're gonna hit uh, 20. Edit, transform, scale, and I'm going to do I'm going to do 80 on this one. And the last one, which will be here, 10 percent. Now. we can create a delay or a pause by adding more of the same frame. I'm going to hit scale. 
I'm going to hit 80. 80. Double click. So now let's look at, well, before we look at what we got, now we need to uh, rename all of these frames. So double click. This is going to be 10. This is going to be 11. This is going to be 12. <clears throat> this is going to be 13. And again, if you stop and think and, and you kind of understand what I'm doing, I'm just creating one frame after another. And I'm telling the program what the frame needs to look at in order to create the animation. This is 16. So we've got 16 frames here right now. Um, so let's have a, a look. Remember, hit save and let's do Fast food logo lofo lofo animation. I'm going to save this on the desktop. So if anything was to happen, if your computer was to crash, we would be able to preload this uh, animation. So to test it, I'm going to go file export as GIF. We're going to see what we got. I'm going to hit uh, zero just so it keeps on and then I'm going to hit tab just so I can keep on seeing what it does and then I can hit boomerang because boomerang might be uh, interesting so we got a rotating logo and it ends on if I hit one tab Uh, let's turn off the boomerang. So now if I hit, it ends there. And that's good. That's what I want. So the little blue box comes in and, and it rotates and then it ends. So what I think I'm going to do now, so I'm going to hit cancel. Now I like where the blue is. I think what I'm going to do is now separate the red. Maybe one red comes down and then the other red goes uh, off to the left but in reverse what's going to happen is the one's going to come in from the left uh, in from the right and then one's going to uh, from the left to the right and one's going to uh, come from the top down uh, into location so now let's do that so I again I'm just going to drag the frame down oh, I dragged it into itself be careful you do that if you do that uh, dragging a frame down into itself. So there's the next one. And expand it. I'm going to turn off the one above it. And we're going to move equal parts. So this one. I'm going to do two. This one. I'm going to do two. All right, so I'm moving it twice. Okay. I'm going to drag that one down. So I've made a copy. I'm going to open it up. Let me see if when I do edit, transform. Now, I'm not going to mess with any of that because I, I don't want it to mess. I don't want to mess it up. So I'm holding down the shift. I'm pressing the up arrow twice. And again, don't forget to hide the one above it. I'm going to click this one and I'm going to hold the shift key and press the uh, the left arrow twice. And this one's much easier because it's going quicker. Again, don't forget to hide the. Uh, previous 
that one, that one. So you might be better off simply, um, and again, occasionally, because I'm running out of space, I'm dragging a folder into a folder, and that's going to create issues. So, you know, because I've... Because I have... Um, I've made the screen so big, I can't easily duplicate the folder simply by dragging. Duplicate the layer seems to be um, the quicker way to go, or the easier way to go. And don't rush it. Good things, if you rush it, you're gonna you're gonna make mistakes. My eyes are so dry. All right. And once you get into the swing of this, you can get into a real production mode, right? And look, don't overthink your animations, but try and be clever. I don't know if I goofed up on that last one. Uh, duplicate there. Hide the last one. Two up. Two left. Click it. Right click. Duplicate layer. And this is what they really call um, production work because it's it's the same thing over and over again. It doesn't necessarily take a great deal of skill, but what it does need is attention to detail. Now you could get really fancy with this stuff. You know, I'm just moving a couple of items and really this is only gonna take uh, 15, 20 minutes. But if I had all class, if I had a couple of hours to do this stuff, I could do some pretty amazing things. So here I have um, everything. I'm now turning it all back on. We need to be able to see it. Otherwise, uh, uh, Photo P will say, oh, OK, you want me to not show this. So we go up. There's 16, 
and now we're going to change all the frame all the frame names 17 oh, did it do it no yeah it did it Eighteen. Nineteen. Downward arrow, it'll go to the end and then just delete everything, including the space on the end. Hit return. Twenty. Downward arrow. Delete space copy five. Twenty one. And if you were to accidentally name this an incorrect number, what would happen is it would jump to that position in the queue. See this one up here as well. And I even deleted. So be careful you don't, you know, mess with these numbers and digits twenty four twenty five So look, this is where the patience comes in. This is where your your uh, a grade of an A might come in or an A plus because you're simply willing to take the time and do it right. Sometimes there is no shortcuts, right? I found oftentimes that by doing, by willing to do the work that no one else is willing to do, that is when I shine because I'm not necessarily doing the things that are incredibly hard to do. It's just that I have the patience. And because I have the patience, I can win the day. I might not be the fastest, I might not be the best, but what I create could be awe-inspiring simply because I put in the time and effort. We're coming to the end. So this one was 36 frames, and I'm just going to go through and make sure that all numbers are correct, uh, are named correctly. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 is missing. 16 is missing, but that's not too bad because it will jump to 17. Uh, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. All right, so that's good. I'm going to hit save. I'm going to save as this Photoshop file. Now I'm going to do file, export as GIF. This is when we see, you know, that's not bad. Let's turn on Boomerang, see what happens. Comes together, boom, and it turns. Let's turn off the boomerang. Now we can slow this down, we could speed it up. 
What I'm going to do is hit save. Domino's logo on my desktop. I'm going to show in the finder. And you can see it's uh now this one is a um a transparency so there it shows the background through it. An easy fix for that is on the very bottom Let's drag this layer on the very bottom and then we'll fill that one with white. And then let's do it. <coughs> uh, wait, where am I? <laughs> File, export, GIF. There we go. You know, I could have faded that blue in but that's fine we'll, we'll we'll leave it as that i'm gonna hit save save show and finder and there it is so i could have faded this blue portion out to zero which i probably should have done and then the only other mistake on this was I need to make it do it only once. Export as GIF. Once. Okay, you should have done it once. So let's do save. Domino's Annie. Show and finder. It might loop. Yeah, it might loop, but when we drag it into a web browser window, it should stop. So that's it. We made a little animation of uh, Domino's fast food uh, logo. All right, so we can refresh it by hitting uh, Command or Control R on Chrome. And that's a silly little animation, right? But that's the beginning of where